Hi friends, Dan here. Dan, the man with the RV plan. Here in our beautiful Monaco executive, all electric coach. Anyway, the lesson today is about Aqua Hot. How to clean your Aqua Hot nozzle. Here I have an Aqua Hot nozzle. And these commonly clog. Sometimes they'll mechanically wear out over use and you need to replace them. But oftentimes they just clog. And you can repair them without having to buy a new one. Let me show you how. Come on over here. This is the nozzle here. And you see the end here gets all caked up with debris. And they're very hard to clean, very sensitive. There's a little pinhole here that the diesel shoots through, this pinhole. And, and it's got to go through this screen first, and then it shoots out like a spray bottle. And if this pinhole clogs, you've got a problem. Now, you might be tempted to shove a needle in the pinhole, but then it'll change the size of the pinhole. You don't want to do that. So you want to do something that doesn't hurt the pinhole. Let me show you how to do that right now. First, you get a hold of your wife's kitchen and her cutting board. Don't let her know you're doing it. Come on over here to the cutting board, to the kitchen. So here we have the secret cleaner. This is a butane gas. You can pick this up at just about any hardware store, uh, even a drug store, okay? And it's got a little metal end on it so you can fill your lighters with butane, all right? And we're gonna use this to clean the Aqua Hot nozzle. No one's ever seen this before, but I'm gonna show you now the secret, okay? Assuming your nozzle is not worn out from spray going through and wearing out the metal, but if it's relatively new, you can usually just clean it. So let me show you how. So you take right here, you put this nozzle down on the cutting board like this, get a good close up of what we're doing here. And then you take the butane and you put it directly over the hole of the Aqua Hot. And what I'm gonna do is push butane backwards through the hole to clean it out. Watch this, ready, here we go. If you can see it close enough, you can actually see butane coming out of these, the screen here on the bottom. And now you have an Aqua Hot nozzle working. You don't have to wait to order it in the mail. You could put it right back into your Aqua Hot and, and it should work if you don't have some other problem. I hope this helps. This is Dan the Man with the RV Plan. Thanks for watching.